Brian Walters is his name. He's leading the way. I think that's number two. So there's two songs. Oh, wow. Hey, he's just leading the, the way. <laughs> okay. This guy is strung out on something, drinks too much, and he's yeah. leading the way, bro. <laughs> okay, so did you get a chance to watch the Okie from Muskogee uh, video? Yeah, I did, dude. I do know that okay. song. <laughs> you guys keep Every, playing it around me all the time. <laughs> right, but that song was like the the rebel song of the 1960s as as the hippies uh, were fighting going to Vietnam. There was a whole segment of American rural population that didn't want anything to do with it. And so instead of the hippies, now it's the woke mob. Who have commandeered the song to their own names? Well, that's commandeered a version of it, the AI version I believe we're talking about today. So do we need to pause so you can play it or do we just go ahead? But what I'm pointing out here, this isn't new. Mm -hmm. Sure isn't new in Oklahoma. And Ryan Walters grew up right by Muskogee. Yeah. And that's who elected him, was rural red counties. Do you know what I'm, like, really upset about? Um, what? That now that I search for this song, <laughs> yeah. my algorithm's going to think that I like listening to shit like this. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the challenge um, on all of this stuff is he... You know, he's a pretty good manipulator. I will give him. Hey, welcome to politics, homie. Sorry, this is good. <laughs> Woke free <laughs> folks. Oh, is that God. the name of the song? <laughs> okay, let me let me give a preface to all this. So we have a school superintendent here named Ryan Walters. We are second to the last or last in education, depending on Mississippi might be worse sometimes, but we're with them. Awesome. Um, and the guy is always just promoting his career. He is the coach in last place. And so the latest debacle of this is this fake group, as you well, and, and let's explain to people how you set up a fake group, because this isn't difficult. Students for Ryan Walters. For one, if they were students, they wouldn't say students for Ryan Walters. Only an adult would say that. Yeah. <laughs> and they supposedly produced this, um, what I would obviously say is, is AI-generated music, and you can be the expert on that one and tell everybody. And it is the worst song in history, but mm -hmm. it, I'll guarantee you he thinks it's cool. That's the thing. It's really bad. If you need to think you're cool, you're not cool. <laughs> Just for anybody who's trying to be cool, if you're trying to be cool, you're not cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People who are actually cool don't give a shit. That's what makes them cool is they just don't care. This is the song, right? Brian Walters is his name. He's away. I think that's number two. So there's two songs. Oh, wow. Hey, he's just leading the, the way. <laughs> okay. This guy is strung out on something, drinks too much, and he's yeah. leading the way, bro. <laughs> one second. This is a different song. The one you sent me yesterday, it was a rap version. <laughs> right. And I said to go into my Facebook that there are two of them. Mm -hmm. Look that. Uh, so the state superintendent for education has two new cool. songs out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's, he's dropped two new songs. So here's the thing. And unfortunately, as you know, I have probably caused these songs to somewhat blow up, which mm -hmm. is kind of sad. But I just want people to see how big of a loser this guy is. If you literally have a fake group because it's so easy to make. And let's go into that here in a few minutes too. Students for Ryan Walters, students mm -hmm. wouldn't call it that. They would come up with something more creative. It was more in their genre of life. Um, and they wouldn't be dropping mediocre AI songs. It would be a better cut song with better background. So, yeah, And I'm pretty sure they would have picked some newer music. <laughs> right. If that's how you know old people did this. So Paul Ryan, you remember the former Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan, he mm -hmm. was a Republican from Wisconsin, was always trying to be cool. Hair. Yeah, he was, he was a young guy, he's trying to be cool. He had a student for, for his deal. But if you look at any younger Republicans, it's an MO, meaning modus operandi. That's it's, it's what they do. So mm -hmm. they all try to make it look like young people care. You want me to tell you who votes? Old white people. Yeah. That's why Ryan Walters is in office, because old white people are like, 
man, this is a modern version of the hippies. We got the Okies from Muskogee song already. So they were already geared up for this because of the 1960s protest. And then the Merle Haggard famous song called Okies from Muskogee. If, if you could play a tag of that, we ain't smoking marijuana in Oklahoma. No, we were just growing it for everybody else because it's <laughs> always been a product here. <laughs> but what they do talk about in that song all the time mm. is, is white lightning, which is illegal okay. booze that makes people go blind. Oh, that, that was okay. <laughs> that was okay. Right. So Ryan Walters is up against the woke mob, which is the modern day of a hippie. Mm -hmm. I am who he's talking about, an old white dude with like six frayed hairs that won't behave. <laughs> Sean, I think, are these supposed to be like songs that promote him or songs that make us hate him? So or what exactly if, does he think if, is going to happen? <laughs> okay, if you and I produced it, it would be parody. Yeah, I would Since make fun of myself he, just so that people will know. He or... Or one of the three chubby male losers around him produced it. Mm -hmm. It's for promotion. Now, Donald Trump and a whole bunch of other people would tell you that there's no such thing as bad publicity. That is not true. There is such a thing as bad publicity. Mm -hmm. And looking like a douchebag is bad publicity. I do like the fact that he's actually in the video. So someone actually made him edit that. Yeah. So, got, the, got the signature. Yeah. Right. So someone actually made him shoot that portion of it, which means right. he heard the damn thing and was like, hell yeah, right. I want to be in this music video. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was in his car and he's like, man, I got my, look at this. I got music. I got, okay. <laughs> so we are from a state that has produced some of the best country musicians in America as mm. well as pop bands. Weirdly enough, we're 49th in education, but we can write music really well. Those are probably the kids that dropped out of school and learned all this shit on their own. <laughs> on their own, on their own, no shit. So uh, for those of you who know Reba McIntyre, who she is, she's from here. Garth Brooks is from here. Uh, mm -hmm. uh -oh, it's disconnected. <laughs> I just microphone off because I want to make my own movie. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so do this for me. Mm -hmm. How easy is it to AIA to AI generate that that song and that film? Oh, it's pretty straightforward to be honest, because it right. uh, most of the song is just screens with his picture and the word right. showing up, which TikTok right. can do in like 10, <laughs> 10 minutes. <Right. laughs> and there's a and there's a ton of apps that you can do this on. Mm -hmm. that, but here's what everybody really needs to know about all this. Voters are old white people. That's yep. why politics don't really change. In cities, they change because there's so many young people that some of them vote. So it matters. Mm -hmm. And in bigger cities, the rest of us live with people that don't look like us. So we don't think we're, we're not scared of them. We're not scared. Mm. You know, <laughs> we get people look like us just as fucking bad. So. Mm. <laughs> right. Oh, Deepak. So here's my thing. We we had this election two weeks ago, and mm -hmm. um, the main guy um, that was Ryan Walters endorsed got knocked off. His name was Paul Bonner, and he literally lived in Texas and was running for office up here. It's the weirdest thing in the entire world, mm -hmm. unless you understand the economy of politics. He spent $5 million of his own money to run for office, which means mm -hmm. some person got 10% of that. Yeah, those are usually those deals, right? 500 grand, man. I would take that money in a second. <laughs> and the commercials were shit. And then you also get a kickback from the TV stations where you play them. Yeah, because the money, media you... buys the, usually the purchasing agent of media buys gets a percentage of right. whatever they book in TV slots yeah. for commercial space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's called money on the back end and then money on the front end. And, uh, also and so somebody made a lot of double money. Double dipping. <laughs> right. And you're really supposed to make a client aware of that, but I don't think you're legally obligated. Say so because crazy uh, shit. A media buyer can actually negotiate those deals on their own with the television station. Right. They don't need to disclose that yes. price. <laughs> no, they do not. And mortgages work the same way for people that don't understand how your mortgage works. And you go, I want a better rate. And they go, okay, they just got it on the other side from the bank. Mm -hmm. They don't care. Yeah. Literally, they don't care. <laughs> 
Okay, so let's talk about why this kind of stuff matters. Um, just so for those of you who don't understand, we are last or second to last in education. And this is the kind of stuff that the guy does that's in charge of education because his whole deal is to flush it down the drain. Mm -hmm. Why do I care as an old white guy whose kids went to private schools? I mean, I've owned my own companies. I, I have the luxury of sending my kids to private schools. 95% of the population here goes to public schools. It is yeah. important that they work. Are they perfect? God, no. Are they everything anybody wants? God, no. Mm -hmm. um, what we need is more parental participation, money, resources. We proved with Tulsa public schools, which were failing, and they put in reading specialists, extra money, extra teachers, all this other stuff. So the body count went down. Like it wasn't one teacher to 40. It went down to one to 20. Mm -hmm. Immediate incremental improvements. So we know for a fact that works but yet we're choosing to give them less money and penalize them for not having high enough scores. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah. So we got that going for us. Does, How's that work does, in India? Does the benchmark, um, Oh, Sean here, I think just because of our population, it is so competitive. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. you'd have a class. I think each grade probably has like five divisions, A, B, C, D, E. Yeah. And maybe 50 to 55 strong right. each class. So that's the same. So explain to people that that's the same system you have in England. Essentially, mm -hmm. if you want to go to college in England, you have to take tests to get into college. And what yeah, all my like British and I, <laughs> right, my British and Irish cousins don't understand. You just got to write that. You just have to sign up here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've never seen anybody turned down completely. You may have been turned down from the college you wanted. There's yeah. always somebody that will take you for the right pair for the right price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think most of them are on this for-profit institutions. Scheme, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a bunch that are. And, and if you're, you're going to the old ones, I mean, you're going to need a legacy to go into the East Coast mm -hmm. old ones. And that's no different than England, <laughs> yeah. except you still have to test in, supposedly. But yeah, here we just don't have that. Yeah, so here, Arkansas, and then I think Mississippi might be a 15 or a 17 that you have mm -hmm. to get. That's it on your ACT. <laughs> what oh, you wow. mean. Yeah. So a 15 on how much are we talking? <laughs> right. 15 out of 32. So, okay. you know, a low, a low 50%. You still get in down Mississippi. And we wonder why nothing changes down there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Education systems are kind of weird that way. Uh -huh. Like it is. Uh, so the question is, why is there so much movement in education right now? So the Walmart family are enormous donors to a lot of the politicians that are for-profit school people. And you go, why would Walmart want to do that? Well, they've already ruined small town America by knocking out the pharmacists, the engineers, everybody. Anybody that made any money and, and had an education in most small towns left and went to the big cities here because Walmart came in and sold everything so cheap they couldn't afford to run their own stores. So mm -hmm. any of the entrepreneurs and stuff left. And that doesn't sound like a big deal until your city council needs to grade some roads and stuff like that. That yeah. person no longer is there that understands how that works. Mm -hmm. And so really the road people get to come in and go, well, you know, this is what we're doing. And mm -hmm. everyone goes, oh, okay. And, and votes along. Um, so Walmart's already done that, but the money they see that's still on the table is almost all state budgets are about 50% education. Mm -hmm. It's about $10,000 per kid. And so if you're a business person and you look at this and go, shit, I can do it cheaper than schools. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's, it's a, it's a long deal here. Republicans have been a hundred percent in charge for 20 years. So they defunded schools for 20 years. And now they're like, well, these schools suck. And you go, yes, you defunded them and attacked the teachers and made no one want to become teachers and all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. on purpose to eventually privatize. So this year was the push for privatization and the Catholic church got a lot of money because they're the, they're the only organized group on the outside, but a whole bunch of little schools, like your sister could open a school in her house mm -hmm. in Ada, Oklahoma. And oh. think about it. If she had 35 kids come through mm -hmm. at $10,000 a kid. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's real money. <laughs> right. And, and so, my thing is, is I'm from a, a, my sisters, my mom, et cetera, all taught in public schools because mm -hmm. there was 
retirement and all this other stuff. And uh, and in private schools, you don't have any of that. So so here's the long question. All right, let's let's complicate all this. So what do we do when this money goes to the private schools and then all of us are living longer, but yet have to stop teaching at like 65 because of cognitive decline? Mm -hmm. So who's going to pay for food for those people from 65 to 80 or 85 when they die? Mm -hmm. like my social security is only going to be like $900 a month. Oh, wow. I, I mean, mm -hmm. right. It's, it's nothing. That's, that's rent anymore. I mean, that's not mm -hmm. medicine. That's not utilities. That's not taxes and nothing. So it's not going to be social security. Yeah, so do, so do we change the retirement age to 70 and, and, and then the younger people don't get an option of anything for another five years while the old people keep it. Wasn't there a you know, riot yeah. about just increasing the retirement age in France recently? <laughs> but but here's the thing. It does need to increase, but they just should have started incrementally and just bite the bullet and start it. I mean, it, yeah. it, it was originally designed, the retirement age, because that's when we died at 65. Yeah. So they weren't, they weren't giving us the money season. anyway. Yeah, but then now, now it's life 80. expectancy is like way higher. But they didn't change any of it. So there's a draw off of it. And then the federal government kept borrowing money from that pool of money. So there's no money. It's gone. It's all gone. So this is basically are, a collapse of social security payments that I've heard about for years. <laughs> correct. Right. And it's and it's a 2024 supposedly. Uh, isn't that where we're at? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is when it was supposed to start. And it, it, look, they just keep pushing it back because. The, the job of a politician is to stay employed, Deepak. It's not to look out for you or me. Oh, yeah. They're so worried about their next term and all of that. It, like, where yeah. do you consider the citizens? Because by the time you get into office, you already have to start run, uh, fundraising. You're raising money. Mm -hmm. So everybody has a booth that they go do money in the afternoon. You see all this drama on oh, TV shit. and all the, mm -hmm. all the shitty actors. Yeah, it two looks, hours later, they're out making phone calls. It looks like a call center, Sean. Like, uh -huh, I've seen call right. centers in Bangalore that look like better than yeah. where the congressmen sit down and call the, cons I mean, people and ask them right. for money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it is. And they do that every single afternoon. And then mm -hmm. on Friday, they can sometimes fly back home and then go back up there on, on Sunday. But then they're fundraising all weekend yeah. because it costs so much to run. Now, this loser from Texas that came up and spent all of his money, $5 million and He's not a, I mean, everybody knows who he is because he, he looks like a buffoon. But I mean, there's no Democrat that can raise that. They can raise like 400 grand. I mean, and this guy mm -hmm. still got just smoked. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't, I mean, it's a money machine. And as long as we understand the complexities of that. So do you want to explain how British politicians work so it's 30 days out from the election you can't advertise until then mm -hmm. and you have a limited amount of money yeah everybody has a fixed budget you're not supposed to overspend beyond that you could get penalized really badly for doing stuff like that like during right. uh, there was one campaign where i think nigel farage the stupid mm -hmm. ukip guy who used to be around <laughs> he was the guy who wanted to like uh like pro brexit right oh i remember him yeah, so one part of his campaign expenses was just a bus that had how much money right. was getting siphoned out of the UK economy. And it was bullshit. It wasn't true. Yeah, it was just fake yeah. numbers that was on it, too. But it worked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so what you're telling me is we're doing the same thing that the mother country did. Mm -hmm. And but how far behind are you guys on that? Because you seem to be following us. Yeah, we seem to be more inspired by you guys because our right. elections, like, Oh, I'm pretty sure that we come pretty close to what the presidential election costs in America. Like, that's how much these guys spend here. Because right. you're talking about hundreds of parties in every state that are campaigning. Right. And there is like this weird thing recently, and you're going to find this amusing, where the Reserve Bank, which would technically be like Federal Reserve. Yeah, right. In the past, like 2018 and then last year, they pay dividends to the government. Okay. Okay. That's super fucking weird. Because yeah. banks, the banks, it, they basically hold all the money for the banks. But they decided right. it was never done like at this level before where they paid uh, dividends to the government so that the government is flush with money. 
that money didn't go back to building infrastructure. It went into like free food and subsidies because it was an election year. <laughs> yeah. So I don't, I don't, I, I have a, a friend of mine that watches all my, my political stuff and goes, um, you know, why don't you do this and this and this? And I go, no, no, no. I do the jail and I do schools and feeding children because no one can argue about that. Mm -hmm. Everything else I could argue either side. And I really, I'm, I'm pretty good at, at debate. I could take either side and probably defeat people. And I don't want those kind of issues because then we never move forward. We get a muddled version of what you and I thought might work, even though mm -hmm. we didn't work in that field. <laughs> we don't know shit about the field, but... I think I know how to solve all that. Um, a good example of that, okay? So I'm, I, I was a former vice mayor of the, the city of the village. They decided to buy a con, like a concessions cart, mm -hmm. but, but right. didn't bring anybody in that knew how to do it. And you don't have to pay somebody to do it. Just get somebody who knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. it, it, it was like a waste of $50,000. And that was my own people. And they just blew it. I mean, there's it, it, was, it ended up being so shaken down meaning like anything they tried to put in there really wasn't legal because they didn't know how it worked mm -hmm. and uh and we didn't need it but it was already the idea was there it was funded you went ahead and did it. i mean that shit happens all the time yeah i i love like reading things about city governments especially where things mm -hmm. get funded without an actual plan for implementation right yeah yeah and, and and no skill or job mm -hmm. experience yeah you know the so we we have a bus system that they're trying to revamp in Oklahoma City and making it better and faster, but they can't solve the fact that it was 105 degrees yesterday. Mm. That's why people don't ride the bus. While you're waiting on the bus, you are soaked in sweat. Yeah. And then you smell, and then you're on the bus. And then you mm. get off the bus, and you sweat again. That's why people don't ride it. You can't solve that. So they, they wanted to bring it through our city, which we don't have bus systems through that, just quite honestly. It brings homeless people. Yeah, you know, that's that's really why the city doesn't have, it. and uh, and so we're talking about it. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars per stop to bring the bus. What? Uh, and I was like, how is it possible that is that's like two hundred? Is it like an LCD one? display with air yes. conditioning that you're going to stand there on the with like New no York AC. City lights? <laughs> No AC, but it's got uh, this timer and all this other stuff. And I'm like, just put the pole in the ground so people can get on the bus. Hey, no, that's not the way it works anymore. Give them a bench and an umbrella, I would think. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I, every, every, every business has figured out the real money is in, in billing government. I mm -hmm. mean, because, you know, you, you're going to get your check. Like if yeah. they've approved it, you're going to get your check. And uh, and so I'm I'm circling around to go oh, see all these weird expenditures, all this other stuff. That's why the Walmart family wants to get into schools. Mm -hmm. like so the American. Like, well, I mean, you say that again. No, just imagine like a Walmart degree. What does that even look like? <laughs> well, I mean, we've all been in their stores. Mm -hmm. That's that's what a Walmart school is going to look like. Yeah. So. So everybody has figured out online schooling is much less expensive to do. If you're a really good teacher, you've got 500 students at lunch or 5,000. Mm -hmm. You're still only making 50 grand a year. They're selling it to all those other people. Oh, yeah. Those online universities, those are like a yeah, real Yeah, you don't get a cut. <laughs> yeah. but, I, but I will tell you, I took the version of online classes in college. Are you familiar with Faust? Mm -mm. what is that okay so I, I studied faust for a semester just because I, di I didn't know what it was so i signed up for it and it was like a guy making a deal with devil and then and then we had dante's inferno and the levels and all these other things and but i watched videos on tv at like three o'clock in the morning and that was their version of online school back then and then once a month i think we went to class and discussed it Hmm. And it was so I was in on the front end of all of this stuff, but it was fine for me because I was interested in the subject matter, kind of, not really, really but, you know, this back and forth of, of, uh, of is the devil buying them and shit. But the modern version 
has to coexist with regular school sooner or later because there really are people that teach better than other people. And maybe you got to do it at the Superdome, you know, on a, on a big camera. I mean, I don't, I don't know. The, our system has not adapted and COVID showed a lot of frailty in the public school system. Mm-hmm. And that's what opened all this shit up. It's, it's COVID. And mm-hmm. so um, the march to the right, meaning the Christian right, just took off at that point. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they want to get the schools. What was, what was um, that guy from Central Europe that started a, a big war? get the children first. I mean, we know how it works. <laughs> All right. Did, did, uh, did we over talk this for 20 minutes? I'm pretty sure we did, but if people tune into this, I know they're used to our nonsense. So they're not gonna... right. <laughs> well, if you get a chance, do me a favor, put that Oki from Muskogee cuts of that song in so they can see, see the that problem? this is just a, See, the problem with that Ooh. is it would copyright. be a copyright infringement on ah, YouTube. Bummer. That's where I'll get screwed. Bummer. Yeah. Mm. Well, you could put the, well, I, I was going to say you could put the actual um, words from it up. Or just no, mm-hmm. from we don't smoke marijuana. But I mean, it really is the ultimate redneck song. It's okay to drink illegal shine, but it's not okay to smoke marijuana. Mm hmm. I like that the bot type, uh, the bot tub whiskey is more famous then. <laughs> I don't know how all this turns out, my friend. I really, I really, really don't. Just in for the ride, Sean. <laughs> yes, I am.